What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a regal gold text effect in Photoshop using layer styles. We post new videos and resources every week so make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also check out newlayer.com and sign up for the email list to get special offers that are only available for email subscribers. Let's get started. Before we get started, you can use any background you want in this tutorial, but the texture that we're going to use is available for New Layer members in the project files at newlayer.com. The project files also include a Photoshop layer styles file so you can apply this effect in one click, plus the finished PSD document so you can dissect it and see how it's all put together. So the first thing we need to do is create our new document, so I'm going to click File New, and you want to set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 and use the resolution of 72 ppi and hit OK. Next I'm going to come down to my files and open the textures folder and within the textures folder we already have a pre-cropped and resized texture so I'm going to drag that in and hit enter to place that and I'm going to click this button over here in the layers panel to lock that position so we don't accidentally move our background when we're dragging other things around. Next I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and I'm going to drag that down in the middle of the curve to darken the image. Then I'm going to come over and choose my brush tool and right click on the canvas. And I'm going to set the hardness all the way to zero and increase the size. Now if you press the right bracket key over and over you can resize that brush until it's about the same height as our canvas. And then what you're going to do is paint in the middle bottom area of the image. What we're doing this for is to paint black on the mask so the curves only apply to the outer parts of the image. And since we're painting on the bottom only, it's going to look like there's light coming from the bottom up. So if I alt click that layer mask, you can see what I've painted. And I'll add a couple more strokes here. And then I'll alt click again to close that and you can see how it adds a little lighting effect to our image. I'm going to name that curves adjustment layer lighting and I'll create one more curves adjustment layer and bring that down. And what we're going to do with this one is use it to create a little more vignette only in the corners. So again I'm going to press B to choose my brush tool and this time I'm going to paint everywhere on my mask except the very corners. And that looks pretty good. So if I alt click that mask, you can see how it looks. So I'm going to rename that layer to vignette. Next we're going to create our text. So I'm going to come over to my text tool and click and I'm going to type regal and I'll drag that to the center and it doesn't matter what color this is because we're going to change that with our layer style settings later. So I'm using Trajan Pro 3 at 280 point with the tracking set to 50 and I also have the faux bold and the all cap set. Lastly I want to show you that I have the anti-aliasing set to strong. That way our text has a nice bold look. Usually layer styles look the best on bold text. I'll press Control J to duplicate that and drag it down and using my text tool I'm going to select all that and make this say gold. So with my regal layer selected I'm going to come over to the layers panel and double click that to open up my layer styles dialog and I'll drag that over to the right just so we can see while we work. So the first effect that we're going to add is a bevel and emboss and you want the style set to inner bevel, the technique set to chisel hard, the depth set to 135, the direction is up, the size is 250 pixels, soften is set to 3 pixels, the angle is 95 degrees and the altitude is 42 degrees and we do not want to check use global light because we're going to use some different angles and other effects later on. Then you'll want to set the highlight mode to linear dodge with the color as white and the opacity at 65% and the shadow mode to linear burn with the color black and the opacity at 55%. And you always want to have the preview button checked that way you can see your changes as you work. Next we'll turn on contour and this is one of the least used parts of the layer styles dialog. Now I created a custom path for my contour but it's really easy to copy it's only two extra points. So you want to set the bottom left point all the way to the bottom left and the same with the top right and then you'll click anywhere on the path to add these extra two points. Now the first point you want to set the input to 37% and the output to 100% 
and that's just the position of this point up here. The second point you want to set to input 75% and output 0% and hit OK. And if I turn the contour on and off, you can see how it now looks like the light is coming from the bottom of our image. Lastly, you want to set the range to 80%. Now, before I continue, I want to change the color so it makes our next changes a little easier to see. So I'm going to turn on Gradient Overlay, and we're going to add a subtle gradient as our gold color. So if I click on my gradient, the left side is going to be AF8400, and the far right side is going to be E0BC70. You want the blend mode set to normal, the opacity at 100%, and the angle at 90 degrees. And those are usually the defaults, but those are the important settings. Next, we're going to add an inner glow, and you want the blend mode set to linear burn with the opacity at 30%, and the color set to black. The technique should be softer, and the source should be edge. And then you want to have the choke set to 10%, and the size at 12 pixels. And you can see that that adds just a little shading effect to the outside of our text. Next, I'll add the satin effect, and you want the blend mode again set to linear burn with the color black, and the opacity at 25%. And here we'll set the angle to 19 degrees, the distance to 25 pixels, and the size to 30 pixels. And under the contour, you want to use this one right here. It's in the defaults for Photoshop. Lastly, you want to make sure you have the invert checkbox checked. Next, we'll add an outer glow, and this is going to kind of act as a shadow on top of the drop shadow that we're going to add later. So you want the blend mode set to linear burn with the opacity at 12%. And the color isn't black, it is 201200. It's just a dark brown color. Then you want to set the size to 20 pixels. Everything else should be the default. The last effect that we're going to add is a drop shadow, and you want the blend mode set to linear burn with the color black and the opacity at 30%. Then set the angle to negative 85, and that'll cast the shadow above your text, which matches the lighting that we did on the background earlier. Set the distance to 30 pixels and the size to 45 pixels and everything else should be the default. After you make all these changes, hit OK. Next you want to come up to your Styles panel and click the New Styles button. And let's name this Regal Gold. And you want to make sure Include Layer Effects and Include Layer Blending Options are checked. And hit OK. So you'll see that was added to our Styles panel. Now I'll select our gold layer and simply click that new layer style that we created to apply it to gold. Lastly, I want to add a little split tone effect to this image, so I'm going to come to my adjustments panel, and I'm going to add a color balance adjustment layer. I want the shadows to be a little blue and the highlights to be a little orange, so under mid-tones I'm going to set that to 10, 0, and negative 20. And you'll see that warms up the entire image, so next we'll go into the shadows and add some blue. So we'll make that negative 18, negative 2, and 40. And you can adjust this however you want. Lastly, I'll go into the highlights and set that to 15, 0, and negative 30. Now it's really dark, so I'm going to uncheck Preserve Luminosity, and that will apply some of those color shifts without darkening our image. Next, I'm going to come down and I'm going to shrink these layer styles and go back into our vignette and I'm going to adjust these curves to make it a little darker. And that's it. Now you have a really easy regal gold text effect that you can apply to any layer in Photoshop with a single click. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Leave a comment below and let me know what you want to learn next. We create new content based on your feedback, so it's super helpful. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.